Hi, and welcome to Color Correction Over 40 using Demi Color. Does color correction work? What do you think? I don't have any concealer on. And I only add foundation in certain parts of my face in the final few minutes of the video. So you will see a full video of me doing my makeup with Demi Color Color Corrector using no foundation, using no concealer, yet looking every bit youthful and healthy and glowy. Stay tuned. Hi, happy new year. Welcome back to my channel. I am Michelle Spieler, an over 25 year professional makeup artist working in television, film, commercial, print, and so on. Uh, I am also known as Clean Beauty Babe over on most social media, where I like to really educate on clean beauty and ingredients. But today I want to focus on color correction. It's something that many of you have probably heard of. Many of you have probably tried it. Many of you have probably ditched it because it just didn't work. Um, I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts in illustration and so I understand color theory. I've always loved color correction, but unfortunately as we get older, as you layer products, you will start to see more and more texture. So I found a product on TikTok Someone reached out to me and I'm about to tell you all about it today. Um, this is gonna be maybe a lengthier video, so I just wanna give you a heads up warning. I will do it in two parts, but it'll, it will be two parts all right here. And, and at any time, YouTube will save your place. So if you have to just pause it and come back another day, that's fine. I wanna get to the whole color correction method first and foremost. And then I will show you how I do my face very, very natural with just color correction. And then I will, in the second half of the video, actually add a little tiny bit of foundation here and there just to give me an even more polished look. But this is an ideal video and product for women over 40, over 50, over 60, who just are so discouraged with foundations and concealers and right here, me too, okay? It all started back in November. I was working on a Lifetime movie. Uh, the star of it was Angie Harmon and I was not her makeup artist, my friend Ashley was, but Ashley had a family emergency and said, Michelle, can you do Angie's makeup today? Typically in television and film, an actor will have their own bag with everything you could ever need in it for them. And I knew enough about Angie to know that she knows who she is. She knows how she looks best. And I knew that she could just kind of guide me through any steps that I needed. I don't pretend to know it all, even though I'm a longtime pro. I let the actress have say in what she looks like. It's her face, not mine. And high def is very unforgiving to women as they get older. And so we got to the point of concealer and I noticed there was no concealer in her actor bag. And she said, yeah, I don't wear concealer. I never wear it in my daily life. I will wear it sometimes for special occasions or red carpet. And she said that she will use the tiniest amount of Bye Bye Under Eye. It cosmetics. That's the one I've used in my pro kit for years. I love it. You can use the tiniest amount and buff it in. And that's the one she uses, but she didn't want it on camera because the high def does show texture under the eyes. So we were talking all about that and how frustrating it was. And my friend Ashley had a little palette in Angie's bag by color science, I own the palette. I keep it in my male grooming kit actually because a lot of men don't like concealer. And it's five different colors of mineral pressed powders that can color correct. And so we did a little bit of that un under Angie's eye. It looked nice. We sprayed it with some setting spray. It looked great. Looked great on high def and everything. But I remember thinking, well, I know personally, I don't like color science under my eye because even though it's not talc, it is powder and powder under my eye just shows more age. And I'm older than Angie Harmon too. So I thought, gosh, it'd be so great if there was something that could, could work. And 
About that time, someone reached out to me on TikTok and stitched one of my videos. I did a video of Kosas Concealer. Y'all know how much I love Kosas. It's probably the prettiest concealer I've ever used. This is their Revealer Concealer. It is a skincare serum and concealer in one. It is extremely natural and beautiful and skin-like the first few hours, but I find that most most foundations, right? Most foundations, most concealers, most products look beautiful. Sorry, the table's shaking. Most things look beautiful the first couple hours, but how does it look throughout the day? How does it look at the end of the day, right? And I found that no matter what I used, by the end of the day, I just looked old and textured. But I did a video telling women over 40 that as we get older, as we get looser skin, as we get more texture, we are just simply gonna crease. And and concealer's gonna travel to these little creases under the eyes. It just is the nature of concealer and older skin. And I was just telling women, repat it back out. You've heard me all say it here. You've heard me say it on Instagram. Just repat it back out and move on with your day. There's not a whole lot we can do about it. Well, this woman stitched my video. Her name's Amanda. And um, we were friends already on TikTok and I liked her. And she said, you know, I have a product that doesn't crease. And I was like, really? So I reached out to her privately and I said, okay, I'll bite. What colors do you recommend for me? And she told me a few colors. And I thought I'm gonna order these and I'm going to prove her wrong. I'm gonna prove to everyone that this creases also because she's younger than me. People in their 50s just have different skin and people in their 40s who think they're mature because I once did too, they don't understand. And I know once I'm in my 60s, I'm gonna look at women in their 50s and go, oh honey, oh honey, wait till 60s. I realize that every decade gets worse. And so I bought this product and I tried it and I didn't love it at first, and I kept trying it and kept trying it, and I've been playing with it now for five weeks, and I really wish I had had it the day that I did Angie Harmon's makeup because I think she would have just fallen for it hook, line, and sinker. I think she would have absolutely loved it, and I think it would have looked absolutely beautiful on camera. And so knowing this, I ended up buying an entire palette of it for my pro kit. Now, no one needs this many colors, okay, nobody but this is a company called Demicolor. And it's actually owned by Saint. Many of you probably have seen Saint. Saint is one of those companies where women are like, look, I can do my whole face in one compact. And you know, they do their face in three minutes and no offense, but it, it looks not blended. It's, it's, I'm never impressed by those videos. And so I didn't want anything to do with that side of the company. I just wanted Demi Color. So I started with the two colors that Amanda re um, recommended, this um, pink, this peach, and then I went ahead and got this greenish yellow because I know that that works really, really well. Um, and I'm gonna list all this soon, but this is green, yellow one. These are magnetic, by the way. This is Orange three, it works for more, most Caucasian skin. And this is red orange one. It's like a light pink, which I actually don't even use that one that much. I pretty much can do most of my face with these two colors here, okay? This is color theory. These are wax based and they are very pigmented. Now, when I got them, I was using just my traditional makeup brushes. I'm like, oh, please, I have every makeup brush in the world. I don't need your makeup brushes. And so, um, oh, and I had one of these little Z palettes. So I originally popped my three colors in here. Um, but, you know, I used the traditional brushes like this little guy and, and this little guy. And it just, it wasn't working. And I reached out to Amanda and I said, you know, this just isn't working. Um, you know, and so she sent me some videos to show me how to do it properly. And that's when it all clicked. And that's when I started to do it every single day. Now, when I started posting about a month or so ago, I started talking about how I was loving creams and waxes all over my face. Even before I bought these, I had started wearing a company called La Mac Pro and it's out of France. Okay. And Unfortunately, it's very hard to get here. 
and I don't understand the color system, so I just bought this palette because another makeup artist in London recommended this for Caucasian skin. And you can see, you know, you can kind of see the colors that I've used the most. And this is wax-based, it's called Fard Cream. It's wax-based and it's beautiful. And they use this on a lot of shows like Downton Abbey and a lot of um, European artists will use this. And it's very, very beautiful when blended correctly. And I had been wearing this on my face with the demi color. I was mixing these two. But I thought, well, how how do I help women buy this? Because it's not really sold in America. You can go to Lamac Pro and you can buy it from France, but you're gonna pay heavy shipping. I don't understand the color system. And when I reach out to them for help, they they try their best, but there's a huge language barrier. And so there are a handful of companies in America that sells these, but they sell them for more like professionals and palettes. And their color correction system, they have little color wheels, and I didn't like them at all, at all. Loved these, did not love the color correction that they had. So let me show you how I do my entire face. Um, we're only going to put demi color where we absolutely need it, okay? Only where we need it, nowhere else. And you're not even gonna believe this. So do you see, I have red right here where my glasses lay on my nose, I'm very red. I'm very red all around the nose, most women do. I get a little red on the chin and I am quite red under the eye. I have a purpley red. Now, most red actually has a lot of purple in it and women don't realize that. But now that I understand that, I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. And that's why I'm so glad I got the yellow green because it covers the redness better for me. Now for Gracie, my daughter, she's not as um, warm based as me. You can tell by looking at your veins. My veins are more of a blue green. She's more blue purple. So she doesn't have the yellow undertones that I do. Okay. And I'm fair, but I've got a lot of sun damage. So see my neck is probably my true color. And then my, my face and my chin, I mean, my face and my chest have more sun damage. And then look at my wrist. My wrist is a little bit more like my neck. So I'm, I'm a yellow undertone, but for Gracie, we use this green on her. This is great for co covering redness and she has a couple broken capillaries on her face and she loves this green. And this one is, let me see what this one is. Let's see if I can pop it out. This is yellow green one. So that's yellow green one. That one is not as pretty on me. I look better with the green yellow one, okay? So another thing is I don't like the brushes that I had. So I went back and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna buy the brushes that they recommend. That makes the most sense to me. And don't you know it, it made a huge difference, okay? So let me show you, um, and I'm also gonna cover this huge sunspot here. Um, and then I'm also going to go into my, eye. we're going to do a whole bunch with this. You're not going to believe it. Okay. So I am going to take this yellow green and I kind of tap it on the back of my hand first to warm it up. I learned that from Laura Mercier. I'm going to get real close to the camera so you can see this. I'm going to use my little mirror. Okay. And watch this. Well, no, that's not gonna work. Okay. I'm gonna go. And I just kind of tap it. I tap it with my fingers. I buff it on. gone. Look at that. Look at that. Gone. And if you get real close up to me, you cannot see it. Look at that. Do you see it? No. It's, it's amazing because it's wax based. So it melts right into the skin and wax has a beautiful sheen to it the way skin does. Okay. Watch this. I'm going to go around my nose. Okay. 
Look how reddish my nose is. So I'm gonna go in. I have tons of broken capillaries all around my nose. It just comes with age. Now you gotta go just where the color is because if I go outside of that reddish color, you're gonna start seeing, if I go outside of the red, you're gonna start seeing the yellow. So you really have to keep it right Look at that, look at the reddish purple and look, gone. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time, okay? I need you to be patient in wanting to learn this, but you're not gonna believe it once you try it. You're just not gonna believe it. Cause I, I didn't believe it. I'm a 25 year makeup pro and I've never in my life used anything like this in 25 years. And I know that sounds dramatic. Believe me, no one's more surprised than me. I'm shocked that other companies don't have something similar. I'm really shocked. Okay, look, all the red around my nose is gone. The big red marks for my glasses is gone. I'm gonna go in with a little tiny bit. Do you see I'm already looking more polished? Look at that. And I like to do this right after I do my sunscreen. Um, and I've been using Korean sunscreens, which have a beautiful silky texture. Do you see how I'm just buffing that on? Look at that. Just buffing it on. I don't know why I put the mirror up in your face. Look at that. The red is gone. Is that unbelievable? Now let's go under the eye because this is our biggest source of contention, right? We have dark. Some people are really dark under the eyes. I noticed that under my eyes, I'm super reddish purple. So again, I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hand using this little fluffy brush. What brush is this? I'll put everything in the, I'll put everything, I'll put the links in the description, but watch this. This is why I like this brush. I love this little tiny fluffy brush. Cause watch. It's amazing. And this brush really gets into all those little nooks and crannies. And then I get a little bit red out here, just a little bit. Look at that. See the reddish here? See it's gone? Reddish purple, gone. And look at it real close up. It just looks like skin. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Not bad for 54 years old, right? Not bad. Okay, so now we're gonna go on the other side. Again, I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna go in right here. Now notice I'm only putting it, I'm not doing my whole under eye with this, I'm only putting it right where I'm reddish purple. Notice I don't take it under my whole eye. My whole eye is not reddish purple, okay? These are long brushes, so sometimes it's hard when you're looking in a magnification mirror. And then I'm gonna go right out here a little bit because I get a little bit of red right out here. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? I love it. Now, I'm gonna go in with the tiniest bit of this peach now, okay? Because this peach is gonna go into little areas in here where I get more blue and purple, okay? We all have veins around our eyes. We all have some darkness. Not everything around my eye is that reddish purple. So I'm gonna warm that peach up on the back of my hand and then watch this. Now I'm gonna go I'm gonna go up in here. 
and I'm going into my trough. I did not take the yellow green into the trough, but I am taking the peach right into the trough because the trough is where the darkest color is. Look at that. <laughs> it's like magic, right? I mean, like I couldn't believe it when I first figured out how to use this properly. Okay, now I also have blue veins under my eyes. I don't know if you can kind of see those. Now they're not super distracting, but they are a little bit. I'm not gonna hand paint over all of them. That would be ridiculous, but I can go in the, to the area with the peach. Cause remember veins are blue purple and peach will counteract that. Peach will cancel that out. And yes, I'm going into a little crinky, crinkly area, right? I'm a little crinkly, but guess what? This is wax, so it looks like skin. Can you believe this? Like even I'm looking at that right now and I'm like, is that really looking as good as I think it is? I think it is. <laughs> Okay, now I've tested this for five or six weeks now. So this is, uh, this is not something that I'm just now trying and it stays on all day. Okay, I have a little bit of blue vein right here and a little bit going up through the middle. And again, I'm not scared to go under the eye because look, it, it has a beautiful sheen like real skin. Okay, now look at that. I have no foundation and no concealer on. That is just these two colors. That's it, that's all I have. <sighs> I can't believe it. Okay, so I also have this big humongous sunspot. And the best way to cover sunspots is with this deeper peach. Now, if you are deeper skin tone than most Caucasian women, um, if you, JLo could even use that color, but if you're deeper than JLo, if you're like going more into like, you know, Halle Berry or you're between JLo and Halle Berry, you, you would use this color right here. And I can color match anyone, so don't worry about all that. I can color match. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I am going to take, you're not gonna believe this color, because when I saw this, I'm like, no, I would never wear that. It's my favorite blush ever. I'm gonna take this pinky pinky color right here because that's gonna look like my real blush color. If I were getting embarrassed or if I was working out and I got a beautiful flush of color and this is called R5, R5, okay? And I cannot believe how much I love this color. Now watch this. I mean, can you believe the only thing I have on my face so far are those two wax colors? That's it. I mean, I have my brows on, so just let's know that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this fluffy brush again. I had to buy the, the brushes that went with it, the Demi brushes, because it's, it's a game changer, okay? And I like blush on my apples. Not everyone does, and not everyone has an apple to their cheek, so you can always take it way up here, okay? And just know that pinks and reds intensify on high def. So that looks like a lot, but in person, I barely, I look like I maybe pinched my cheek. That barely looks like anything in person, but on high def, okay. So now I have a wax on my cheek and it just kind of covers any flaws and there's no coverage. Like if you can still see through it, you can see some of my um, sunspots and freckles and pigmentation problems, but you don't notice it because now there's this beautiful flush of color with this pretty sheen because of the wax. I'm telling you, this stuff is unbelievable. Okay. Go maybe a little tiny bit on the nose. I always like to put a little on the nose. Okay, the only thing on my face, the only thing on my face, and we are on high def camera, okay? The only thing on my face is that pink blush and these two colors, okay? That's it. It's not showing any texture. 
I'm looking very glowy cut. Now I'm not gonna cover that sunspot yet because I want to go in with a little bronzer. I like to warm up my face with the tiniest bit of bronzer. Now the bronzer is not part of Demi color. The bronzer is a Saint color. And this color is called Tan Lines. But what I like about it is I don't have to wear foundation under it. It's a cream blonde bronzer. Again, it's gonna provide maybe the tiniest bit of co uh, coverage, but, but not really, because it's not a foundation. But I like the tiniest bit of warmth on my face. Okay, so look, look at my forehead. I don't have any foundation or concealer on my forehead, but do you see that little bit of warmth I added all around? And look close up, do you see how well it's blended? Let's see, oh yeah. Now I haven't put anything on my forehead that's gonna show my lines more. Okay, now I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in with a little more bronzer, just where we put bronzer, right? The outside of the face. Do you hear my stomach growling? Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I like a little bronzer on my nose. It's so hard doing makeup on a phone. Okay, just on the outside of my face, just a little bit of bronzer, a little on the nose, maybe a little on the chin, maybe a little. I'm not contouring with it, I'm just adding a little bit so it kind of blends down the neck. I do like a little bronzer on the neck just because my face from sun damage is just a different color from my neck and I feel like that ties it all in, okay? So all I have on my face so far is a bronzer, the pink demi color, and then the two demi color waxes. That's it. That's all I have on my face so far. And close up, like here I am close up in a mirror, I feel youthful. I feel youthful and pretty. My my pores aren't noticeable to me because I just look youthful and pretty. Okay? We can take a little bit more of that pink. Okay, now we're going to do now we're gonna do the sunspot because you're not gonna believe it. So I'm going to take, let's see, where did my other brush go? Here it is. I'm gonna take the same brush. And you know what I like? They have these little like tiles with like, I don't know, foam in it. And you can clean your brush off so you can clean the color off. So you don't have to have a new brush every time you use a new color, okay? But I'm gonna go back into this orange three, watch this. We're gonna warm it up, remember, on the back of our hand. And then watch this. Do you see my sunspot right here? What sunspot? What sunspot? I do have a freckle right there, but I'm gonna leave it. I don't paint out every sunspot, just the ones that are like super noticeable. One over here. But this peach paints it out. Now I have a bunch of sunspots over here, but I don't care. I only paint out what is distracting me. And this huge sunspot right here really, really distracts me. Okay, not bad so far, right? You could do this every day, right? We hardly have anything on our face. We hardly have anything on. So after I've done my sunspot, and you don't even have to set it with powder. You can, but I haven't. I use setting spray and I don't have it with me right now. But yeah, that sunspot is gone. 
Now, another thing I like to do is I'm not gonna contour my nose today. Well, maybe I will, you can, but I wanna show you this because I love this brown color. This is neutral red. Let me double check. I'm still learning colors. This is neutral red. Do you hear my stomach? Oh my gosh. No, this is neutral violet. Neutral violet, okay? Watch how cool this is. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna go a little bit under my eyes with it, but look how soft that looks. Okay, and you don't have to do this. This is just for women who maybe want just a little bit more polish during the day, okay? I'm gonna go, oops, I'm gonna go under. See this little teeny tiny brush? And then this fluffy one's on the other side and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. I love it. And then I'm gonna take a little more and I'm gonna go right up here in my lash line. And if you ever feel like it gets too dark, you can literally go over it with your finger. Okay, but do you see how natural that looks? Now, I'm gonna take the fluffier part of the brush. I'm gonna dip in that same color, that neutral violet and watch this. I'm gonna go. What I like about waxes on my eye, oh my gosh, do you hear my stomach? What I like about waxes on my eye is it doesn't show texture. Again, it's going to stay sheeny. Look at that. Do you see that beautiful contour? And I don't even have to really, I mean, I can go over it maybe with my finger, but I don't really have to. Look at that. Now I do have an eye base on, I will tell you, I have an eye base. Today I have on MAC Painterly because I have very, um, reddish brown eyelids and it almost looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow even when I wake up in the morning like a warm brown so I put the MAC painterly on because to me it's probably the best eye base that really stay okay look at that my eyes are done what I like about that dark color under the eye is now we're not taking concealer under the eye. The concealer's down here where we're discolored, but the concealer, let's say you're discolored all under the lashes, okay? Well, now we just, we just um, camouflaged our under eye with this beautiful dark color. And the dark color, if it does crease at all, it doesn't show. Like light colors, if they crease, you really see this light product sitting in a crease. With dark, you don't. Or you could always just tap it back out a little bit, you know? But look at that. Also, it makes your eye look bigger when you go underneath. And you can see how close, do you see how feathery that looks? There's no harsh lines. I just love it. Now I could even take a little bit and contour my nose with the same color. As we get older, our noses get um, bigger. <laughs> our noses and our ears get bigger. I wish it didn't, but it does. 
So I'm just doing the tiniest bit on my nose, the tiniest bit. Like I promise you, if you were up close to my face, you wouldn't really notice. And then also I have a, a broader nose, so I can do this. Do you see how subtle that is? It's very subtle. You're, and, it, and it looks dark and scary, but you're putting it on with a feathery brush and you're putting it on so incredibly feathery and light that if you and I were out to lunch, you would have no clue at all that I had a little bit of contour on my nose, okay? Now you can or can't add that, it's fine. You don't have to, okay? And you can also take that darker color that we have all around the eye and you can even use it to line the lips a little bit and create a little shadow. All right, I'm gonna do my mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, my mascara is on and I love this. I love this look. I, I mean, I could wear this every day of my life and I do and I can get close up in people's face and I just feel very glowy and youthful and it doesn't show all my texture here or here or all through here. There, it doesn't show any texture. Um, I do wanna say real quick, I just noticed a blemish that is going away. And so I wanna show you another thing. Again, Gracie uses the greener um, color corrector, the Demi color, I use the yellow green, but there is a little blemish that's going away right here. And again, you just tap it. There's another little blemish here. Real tiny. You probably can't even see it on camera, but it bothers me, okay? And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this red orange one, real light, light pink. It's a pinky peach, real light, red orange one. Um, this is great if you're much lighter. If you're lighter than me, this is a great color. And um, I'm gonna do it right here. just to bring a little bit lightness to that um, tear duct. You can do that with a light shadow too, but since I already have this out, I'm gonna do. I just see, look how that lightens up my inner eye, just that little tiny bit. Just lightens up my inner eye. Look at that. So the only thing on my entire face are mostly these two colors here. I have a pinch of that. These two colors here, or you can get all three, okay? I have on a little bit of bronzer to warm me up. I have on this amazing pink, which is just the prettiest blush color. Okay, you can, I even put a tiny bit on my lips, but I also have this Ilia lip balm on, but I also put a little bit of that on my lips too. And then I have this neutral violet, this dark brown, which looks so scary, right? But it's contoured my nose, which you can barely see. And it did my crease and my under eye, and I just think my eyes look sparkly and great. And if you look at me real close up in person, you don't see any lines, everything's soft and blended. Everything has a beautiful sheen because it looks like skin. Now, I always set with um, setting spray, especially so that sunspot area doesn't budge. Um, if you want clean ingredients, this Milk Hydro Grip setting spray is incredible, incredible. And I always buy the trial size first. This is the travel size because I wanna make sure I like it before I buy the full size. I really like that, but the best one I've ever used is the Charlotte Tilbury 
Yes, it has fragrance in it. Yes, that's bad for your skin. It, it, it works. When I saw what it did in my pro kit, I'm like, okay, I have to get that. So, okay, and I go all over my whole face. I have on the Thrive Lash Extension Mascara. I've used that for a year and a half. I love it. And what do we think? Look at that. Look at that close up. I love it. I love it. And so I had to invest in it and I had to teach women how they can just color correct. And it doesn't take that long. I realize I've taken a long time, but now that I've done this for five or six weeks, I can do this pretty quickly. And it cuts down on the products I'm using. You saw how little I used. Okay. This is your chance to go if you are not interested in wanting to see foundation. Um, I'm going to add only a little bit because I'm actually really happy with how I look. I really don't need foundation, but I want to show some of you who want a little bit more how I do it, okay? So, because I loved the cream bronzer, I also have the cream contour. I don't use it very much. I don't like the cream highlighter. It's all, it feels too disco-y. And this blush is okay, but it's nowhere near as beautiful as this teeny tiny pink that I put on with a fluffy brush okay so I don't always love some of the same products but I decided to invest in the 3d foundation you know the one where everyone online does their whole face in three minutes and it looks like crap I'm so sorry if you're one of those people the problem is is that high def is unforgiving and it will show anything that is not blended on your face even if it looks beautifully blended in person, it's not gonna look beautifully blended on camera. I appreciate everyone showing women how they could do their whole face in three minutes, but it doesn't look pretty to me and it doesn't look polished and I'm not gonna be doing that, okay? But you can do this quickly. Now again, you have to get, trust me, trust me, I've tried my own brushes. It, it Cosmetics makes incredible brushes. They, I don't like how they work with this, okay? What's deceiving about the Saint is that the colors are so much darker than you would ever select, okay? I tend to be a light to medium girl, okay? Light to medium. So you would think somewhere around here, Aura. Aura, look at this. Look how light that is, it's way too light. So the Saint colors go on much lighter than they look, okay? And buff that off. You can use your fingers because they're just creams, okay? But see, that's too light, I can't stand that. I picked the colors myself, I got them all wrong and I had to go back to my friend Amanda and go help. The colors are too, the, the colors are too light. When the colors are too light, not only do they bring out your flaws, now suddenly I'm, I can totally see this jowl hanging, okay? Um, not only will light colors enhance your flaws, but if the colors are too light, you will see texture. So it's so important to be color matched because I never in a million years thought I would go as dark as I am. I'm gonna start with this color right here called Candlelit. Again, I'm taking the tiniest amount, not much at all. And I'm gonna go down the center of my nose. A little bit, just a little bit into my forehead, not much, because remember, I already have bronzer on, so we don't have to put foundation where we have bronzer, right? That's what's so cool about this makeup. You're not layering. You're not layering. It all is just one layer. When the girls say that on social media that you're just wearing one layer, they are not kidding, okay? So then I like to take a damp, this is a damp um, 
See? And now my nose and forehead look a little bit more creamy and polished, okay? Now, we have different colors all over our face. My jawline and the center of my nose is a little bit lighter than everything else, so. Oh, see, I can see that light color in my pores, ugh. So I'm just gonna go in, because we do, it is pretty to make your jawline a little bit lighter. Our jawline tends to match the neck, okay? I'm real careful around my textury areas where my face fell on me and there's nothing I can do about it. Don't go into that area at all, ever, ever. Go around my mouth just a little bit. But you know it's the right color when you can't really physically see it on your face and you don't see any texture. It doesn't enhance any texture. So that's all the color candle lit. Now candle lit would be a little bit too light for my cheeks. So I'm gonna go into a deeper color, June. Looks really yellow, doesn't it? It works though. I'm gonna take a little bit of June and I'm gonna go Again, I was really, really happy with how my makeup looked already. I don't need this step, but some women like to have a little bit more coverage. If you want a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna show you how to do it without it making you look old because again, these are creams and waxes. You see how smooth that looks? Okay, but now I gotta blend it in. That's it. I put some down the center of my nose, a little bit in the center of my forehead, a little bit on my cheeks and upper cheeks, around my nose and mouth, tiny bit on my chin, but not much. I get a lot of texture on my chin. This area is falling and I got little hatch marks. If you saw this real close up in person, you could see I don't put any makeup there. I don't need to. And then a tiny bit on my jawline. And that's it. I don't even need to powder it. But if you wanted to, they make a translucent powder. And then I also recently just bought this Jouer powder because it's their new radiant powder. And I'm like, okay, I'll bite. Let's see how that works. So you could take the tiniest bit of powder and go just right over. Let me see, I can get my mirror. You can go right over Especially in this day and age where we have to wear masks everywhere. Not a bad idea to powder a little bit. Okay. And then again, after I powder or put on any foundation, I'm going to go in with the setting spray. Okay. And now you can see this is a, a little bit more of a makeup polished look. And yet, I absolutely love how it looks. It even looks beautiful close up. Do you see that sheen? There is no highlighter, there is no shimmer. That is the nature of waxes and creams. They just look hydrated. And if you are on the oily side and it makes you nervous, then you would just use a little bit of powder but you don't wanna look matte as you get older. It will look dry and cakey and textury, but it's so important to color match because I'm a 25 year pro 
and I picked out three colors that are way too light for me, like way too light. There's no way I'll never use that color. Look how light that is. The, the same colors just, you need to be darker. <laughs> is all I can tell you, you need to be darker. Now, if I want a little bit more blush, cause you know me, I love my blush. I can go back in with the Demi. And the Demis aren't as creamy as the Saint. The Demis are more like nothing I've used in my life. It's the Demi that brought me into this company. I wasn't interested in all the cream makeups all in one palette. I didn't want anything to do with that. I can't stand how most of those girls highlight themselves and how they contour themselves. Most women over 50 do not need contouring. It's gonna make you look like the Crypt Keeper. And so I really do kind of just a blend um, of the Demi and then just really a few saint things. That's it, just a few. So I have very little on my face. I feel that it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm not loving this lip color. I'm not loving it. Not loving it. I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> mm, don't love it. Okay, that's a little bit better. I don't know why I wasn't liking that, but I was not liking that. Maybe I'll do a little, this revel on. Okay, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I hope that helps. I have been too busy to teach this. Um, I needed to perfect it first. Then the whole month of December, I was pretty much in Wilmington shooting a TV show for Netflix. Then I came home and it was the holidays. And then I went right into 10 days of COVID. So I'm just really getting started very late in this new year, but I had to show everyone um, how that Demi color works. Again, look at that sheen. There's no highlighter. There's no metallics. There's no shimmer. That is just the sheen of the wax. It's so pretty and it lasts all day. And look, no creasing. Do you see creasing? Nope. Sunspot gone. Love it. I love it. Okay. I'll put all the colors in the description. I will put my link. Um, you can reach out if you want to be color matched. There's different little sets you could buy. You could buy like a tiny palette with a few colors in it. Um, but that's all I got for now. Let me know if you have any questions and I'm, I'm just super excited for a woman to try this because I'm telling you there is absolutely nothing like this anywhere on the market, not even Bobbi Brown cream makeups or trust me, I've tried it all. I've tried all the creams. I've tried all the luxury. I've tried the YSL. I've tried the Charlotte Tilbury. I've tried the Pat McGrath. I've tried, um, all of it. I've tried all of it. This is the best thing I ever found, but it's French. It's even in French. It's complicated. It's, I don't even know what colors these are. Um, they say on the back, but they might be reversed. And when I ask them online, they, there's a language barrier and they're, they're lovely and they want to help. And I'm like, can we just figure out how to sell this in America? And it's not worth it. And, and, it's it not it's not cheap. This palette was $110, I think. It was about $100 for this palette. Or these teeny tiny little things are about 10 or 11 bucks each. And they probably last about six months because you saw how little you use. I mean, look at that. I've used, the, I've used these for six weeks, except for COVID. I've used them every day for six weeks. Look, I mean, you use almost nothing, but you gotta have the brushes. Don't attempt to try the brushes you have at home. I'm a makeup artist. I couldn't stand any of my brushes with it. I needed their brushes and it made, it was a game changer, okay? Bye for now.